Moon. I haven't played this before, but it is a Castlevania style game. Uh, it's by one of the producers who did a lot of the more favored recent, relatively speaking, uh, Castlevanias. And he did a Kickstarter for a PS4 game. Well, you know, current gen game. And they did two prequels to that game essentially at the same time. One being a uh, callback to 8-bit, one a callback to 16-bit. And this is just the 8-bit one, so this is technically supposed to kind of be like a Nintendo version. Uh, I would say probably more like a Nintendo version plus special helper chips, you know. I'm, I'm sure it's well beyond the Nintendo's capabilities. Okay, button config. Pretty sure all this stuff should be pretty dumb. Button config. Attack. Jump. Okay, so it seems to be American style. Usually it's opposite for uh, uh, Japan. And Uh, lately, I think even the PS5 went completely American style with uh, the buttons. Button layout. Sub weapon is triangle. Okay. So it probably doesn't have an up and attack thing like Castlevania did. Command sub weapon off. Oh, that's probably what it is. Command sub weapon up. So you can make your own up and square if you want, I'm sure. Character change. So it looks like mid gameplay you can change. Awesome. And some stuff to be able to unlock. Let's see here. The music's pretty good. It doesn't completely evoke uh, Nintendo, but it's good. Very bassy. I do have to say... Um, okay. Normal and harder than normal. Looking for a retro style challenge, an easygoing style, lives are unlimited, taking damage will not knock back the player. There is no penalty <laughs> for selecting this style. Okay, let's go veteran so we get the knockback, because that's like a Castlevania mainstay. I do have to say I like the basiness of this. There was once a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. That man was Zangetsu. Automatically more Eastern. Wrapped in crimson garb with eyes like fire, he relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. It must be the story of the regular game. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. Since the looming presence of a great demon. Not a very smooth scroll. <laughs> he swore to eradicate all demons no matter how much of a threat they posed. It is like, what do you call that? Uh, well, he drew a sword which consumed the darkness from within its wretched steel. Yeah, it's like imitating bad upward scrolling maybe. Demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. Shimmer, that's the word. We also get a little bit of shimmer going up. Which may not be the case normally, but since it's a in a window, you know, any integer scaling is gonna be off. Ooh, very colorful. Three colors for your main sprite. Let me put both of this on. Now you got three layers, four layers of scrolling. So that's very much like you would not get out of that, that out of Nintendo. So you got this, that, the background, the complete back background, and the moon. A lot of layers. No foreground layer, just the one that you're on. Okay. So far, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a foreground layer. I can almost guarantee it if they're going to... Oh, that's cool. I think 
Okay, so there's hearts in it. Oh. Okay, so these are the zombies that are always in the beginning of the games. I like that pixel art up there at the clock. Okay. When you hit the light, oh yeah, the whole thing goes, um, when you hit the fire, the sprite goes all the way to the edge of the screen. It's very dramatic in how it does it. Oh, okay, that came out of nowhere. Is there something that goes away when I do that? No. Nope. Oh, yeah, okay, that weapon 2 out of 20 thing. <laughs> Music is now kind of so-so. I'm pocket of enough. Add life, I'm not sure yet. Hmm. I wonder if you have like a crawling ability. Okay, you must have an ability you gain. Wow, that's really smooth going up and down. Feels that that's part where the look and feel of the game, the feel is definitely off. It almost feels too good going up and down. If anything, I actually kind of don't like the animation of, of how you step up and down the stairs. Not that some of the old games have pretty bad versions of that too, so... I'm looking at you, Genesis version of... Remember the one for Castlevania for Genesis was? That had really weird way it would animate where the stairs were in comparison to your body too. Good tutorializing. One, I can use sub weapons with the. Okay, moreover, that would require weapon points. I destroy lamps as, as opposed to candles. It's almost, yeah, like a lot of reskinning Castlevania to be almost like Castlevania. I have to say, I kind of like this music a little bit less than I thought I would. At least this. Opening track. Ooh, it got really fancy there with the music. Now it's a cutscene. Okay, this was a good idea. Oh, there's foreground element. The chandelier looks nice. Well, did oh wow. I should pay attention because. You're hitting low life areas, as in not having much life. Mm. Let's 
see if you can jump onto the stairs. Yep, okay. Some quality of life improvements, I would say. I can go under there with a new ability at some point. <laughs> that looks a little janky. Let's see. Give me a bunch of life so that I've, you know, I know a boss battle's coming. Oh, I wonder what that's supposed to be. Oh, I'm gonna die. tries to gradient too much of the color. Design-wise, it's like almost coming too much. It's like, I don't know, the zombie things are almost like too purplish. Especially with against these backgrounds. There's multiple pathways, like if I would have went through that other door I didn't open, I wouldn't have ended up here. boss. Life now four 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 four. Probably means nothing. Oh, what did I not get there? Shame on me. Shame on me. I look like a whip. Oh, a steampunky mech thing. Okay, that's a, a twist. I didn't expect. Kind of like that. Its belly is the engine. Good. Okay. Oh. Not the hardest pattern. I should be able to do this. Those look like those things are coming down a little faster, though, now that he's losing some life. Solid boss structure. Oh, I didn't follow him. Yeah. Oh. Should have paid attention there. Shakes the controller when he does that.
fuel for his fire attack. Oh. how much faster he throws down his fire. Okay, belch, do that thing. Oh, he's not going to do the belch thing. Grindier than I thought it would be. I feel like maybe I'm missing uh, some some potential ways to hit him, or he's just a little too grindy. One of those. Two. There we go. You get four in if you do it right. All right. Oh, there we go. More? Literally almost died there. I only had the one left. Moonlight Temptation. You can see they definitely wanted to add as much color as possible without it seeming too far out of place for being a Nintendo game. Was it the demon's power used to seal the beast? I'm not sure what I think about the font. At least stylistically it's cool. You're a shard binder. Power can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Okay, so they are the shard binder. Okay. Not a vampire, they're a shard binder. <laughs> to be ever righteous in my command of this power, I refuse to be used for evil. Show me the proof of determination in battle. I ask for proof and then they're just there. Okay. without strength and witnesses, I can traverse seemingly impassable terrain. I'll take the shortest path without fail. Follow the remains of fallen adventurers to lead me in the right direction. Okay. Oh, okay. So the signs of dead people. Oh, I wonder if that has to do with previous plays, too. Like, it'll tell you you've been this way. Hmm. health gets low, quickly switching places would be a wise idea. Okay. So, it's also effectively more life for you. Uh, destroying lamps can only be used by a certain person. No one else can even pick them up. High jump. Slide.
Hey, it has a progress map. Oh, boat level coming up. Okay. Frigid Hell. That background mountain's kind of ugly. <laughs> How exacting that scroll left and right is. She jumps high. A little bit less Castlevania, -y, but I like it. It's kind of adventurous. Okay. So is it telling me it wants me to go here first? dead okay and that's why my life still stays the same See here, lives four. Okay, so you technically get one life for every character in your group. So one of her, one of him, and that's a full life. Okay, she's definitely better for these segments. That length. Right. It's very plain. Comparatively. Ah, oh, there we go. Made that one. Yeah, I should have had that one. Are 
Are these committed jumps? I think they are. Let's try that again. Yes, they are committed Castlevania ass jumps. It's <laughs> definitely, you do have to tackle the stuff like Castlevania. Okay. get any of your other yeah. characters back from the dead mid game. Tell me to go that way. So I'm gonna go the other way. Let's see what it does. Oh, that was just an alternate route. That's all that was. So maybe the highlighted path is supposed to be the short one. I have to say this level two music definitely better. Not the character for this. It's definitely built the level to use her. Well, that moment. 12 out of 20. I'm assuming that's going to move. A lot more purposeful building around the mechanic of mechanic of the knockback. So we're probably gonna fall down this pit a bit. So oh that was rough. Yeah, okay. Okay, turn that up. <laughs> okay. Well, I hit 30 minutes here. I'm not gonna keep tackling this section. I'm gonna call it a game session. Turn in, checking this out. We only got level and a half in, but it's enough to be able to get a flavor of the game and how 8-bit is it, uh, and how it handles its aesthetic piece. <laughs> I don't even remember how to immediately turn off the broadcast. Okay, comments, advanced settings. Stop, there we go.